hello everyone today and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be discussing the top five reasons to choose canada as your study destination in 2022 okay let me not say 2022 in 2023 because um practically 2022 admissions are almost over uh no i meant to say 2023 because uh 2022 admission session is over for now so you can only apply for january 2023 and um, spring summer which is may and september which is fall for 2023 so i just want to thank god for the gift of family who understands the value of education and uh, the importance to come to canada to upgrade my academic experience in as much as i've always wanted to study abroad like you know during my nyc i i remember i applied to so many schools in uk and but of course i didn't get the grant i needed to go to school so i kind of put that dream on hold but i want to thank god for family who eventually saw the importance to bring me here so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead straight into the points i have for you today number one obvious reason in the whole wild world right now is Doo -doo 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 -doo. The ability for an international student to work full-time. Did you hear me say full-time? Yes, full-time. An international student from November 15, 2022 can start working full-time in Canada. Who does that? Like, only Canada can. Okay? So this is one reason you have to consider coming to Canada in this year, especially in this 2023, to study because... If you work full time, it will enable you to raise funds to pay your bills and you don't get to run health as schedule. You know what I mean? Like, you know what it means for a student to work full time? I've worked part time and I understand what it means to work full time. So take advantage of that opportunity, guys. So as you can see um, on the official Canada website that international students can work full time starting November 15th. This is in order to um, cover up for the labor shortage that Canada is currently experiencing. I, I really do hope you can go to the website and read more about this and understand better. Again, the number two reason is this. <laughs> the permanent resident pathway, of course. We all know that. Okay, maybe we don't all know. The truth is this. As an international student who has passed through a college in Canada, of course, a designated learning, a designated learning institution that um, offers postgraduate work permits. You can qualify to apply for permanent residence upon graduation. Okay, even I can tell you that you you might even get your permanent residence before graduation. Who knows? The government might just have a need to take in more people for permanent residence, and they just announce a pathway, and you might just be qualified to apply, maybe based on your work hours or your qualification. You never can tell. So, but you know, the truth is this. You cannot have access to such information if you're outside Canada. Now, the fastest and easiest way to come to Canada is through Stored B. Stored B. So, that's the fastest way to come here. And when you eventually come in as a student, imagine the opportunities that may come your way to apply for permanent residence. So I did a quick um, search on Google to look at this um, study and work. Um, if you look at Canada.ca, you'll find everything you need to know about working and studying. Like as an international student, the conditions on your study permits, the permits you to work, how many hours you can work. The truth is this. International students, not just international students, graduates of a Canadian institution have more potentials to gain points for the express entry system. And this is the reason they leverage on that to apply for so many other provincial nomination programs. Like there are programs in different provinces, like in Saskatchewan or Alberta, you know, where they give them opportunities to apply for permanent residence. Number three reason is the ability to work after graduation by the time you're done with your studies in canada you're qualified for what they call a postgraduate work permit which gives you minimum one year to work after graduation and during this one year you can also apply for your permanent residence like i stated earlier in my second point i mean you know you know what it means to get an automatic permission to work in a country after study by the way your purpose of coming here was to come and study and at the end of your study they decide to give you a freebie 
They decide to give you a freebie to continue staying in the country and work full time. Take advantage of these guys. Number four reason. Number four reason is the huge benefit that comes with schooling in Canada. Canada is known globally for the quality of their education. You know, even from as as low as the preschool to the college level, education is actually funded. Like the education system is funded in such a way that these guys take their jobs they seriously. They teach what they are supposed to teach you. And you know the labs, I have experienced this for have experienced this firsthand, okay? As an engineer, I know how many times I had access to the labs like back home. But coming here, everyone has access to lab materials. Everyone has access to basic lab materials like the instruments you need in the lab. I mean, the, every single thing, every single product, every single chemical you need to take your labs and do it by yourself, like what they call DIY. You do your labs by yourself. If you fail it, you continue doing it till you get the accurate results. Like that's how interesting it is to school in Canada. You want to improve yourself, come to Canada. Give it a shot, guys. And above all, you know, Canada is known for its diversity. Canada like, accepts people. They have a community lifestyle here. They understand human rights. You know, this diversity shows even in the hiring processes. Like when you're looking for a job, man you hear questions like are you black are you this are you that are you that they try their best to involve as many cultures as possible in their workforces i mean even in government like we have people like honorable kelechi madu in alberta government who is really doing well in the system i mean they give room for people to to function no matter your race your color your age your background you know what I mean? Here in Canada, you can express yourself without fear of intimidation, with an open mind, absolutely open mind. There's, there is mutual respect for everyone and it's totally safe. I really hope I've satisfied my reasons so far, guys, and given you enough reasons to come to Canada and choose Canada as your destination study. Please. I really do hope you make a good choice to come to Canada to school. Okay, if you've liked my video so far, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you keep getting contents, 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 contents like these. Okay, um, I'm here to help you guys. Okay, ask your questions in the in the comment section and um, and um, let me know videos you want to be seeing on my channel. I'm ready to help you guys. Please don't fall for scammers. Don't fall for scammers. It's a no, 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 no. Okay, see you next time. Bye.